Do it, do it, y'all. Switch to entertainment, put y'all on tune to y'all favorite news, put y'all on tune to all y'all favorite rappers and celebrities and like. But first, I need a little favor from y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe to this video, hit that notification bell as well. That'd be a great service to the channel. Let me put y'all on tune to this story. Now, the other day we were discussing Future and Dre. Many people speculate that they are currently in a beef. Uh, Kendrick Lamar had did a feature on Future's Longer Way to album that he had did along with Metro Boomin. This album being known as We Don't Trust You, which has seen worldwide success, it has already gone number one on Apple Music in 80 countries. Now, Kendrick Lamar had did a feature on one of the songs that Future had dropped on his album known as Like That. So, Kendrick Lamar had went in, he had called out Drake various times, he had spoken on one of his latest albums known as For All The Dogs. He also spoke on the Big Three and who have been the most prolific artists within the last decade. Many were argue that this will consist of Kendrick Lamar, Drake, and J. Cole. So ever since this album had dropped their fans had caught word of what was said, many were speculating that Drake and Future are no longer on good terms. In addition, Rick Ross was included on this album and many are now speculating that Rick Ross is also into it with Drake, given that Rick Ross has unfollowed Drake on an Instagram platform. So this is not the best situation for Drake. Many are perceiving this situation as him facing adversity within the rap industry. But today, recently, Metro Boomer had taken to the internet to speak on the situation. He had commented on a fan's post made on the popular app known as X, originally Twitter. The fan has said the future and Drake beef gets deeper. This is the girl they are allegedly beefing over. And this is the name of one of the songs on the album. So if y'all look closer into this post, this fan had posted a picture of an unknown woman on an IG account. Metro Boomer would end up chiming in later on he would say y'all do stop making stuff up for engagement and enjoy the music. So mind you, ever since this album had dropped, many fans have been looking deeper into the lyrics that were put within the songs. Nobody has spoken on the drama that could be ensuing between Future and Drake. It's just fan speculation. All we've heard is Kendrick Lamar calling out Drake on his feature on Future's album. Now Kendrick Lamar and Drake have been into it for a while. This dates all the way back to 2013. This man Kendrick Lamar had called out Drake in one of his verses at the BET Awards. His lyrics would consist of him saying nothing's been the same since they dropped control and tucked the sensitive rapper back in his pajama clothes. So here we are 11 years later and it seems the circumstances have yet to change. Now I feel like it's difficult to ravel other people up into their drama. Now people have put together the future and Drake are now on the best of terms because Future had decided to include Kendrick Lamar in his album and allow him to say what he has said on his project. But bottom line, I feel like there is not that much of a occurrence to jump to conclusions, but instead I feel like many are just making assumptions. Now going all the way back to 2015, going all the way to 2016, Meek Mill and Drake weren't on the best of terms. I'm not going to delve deeper into what they had said about each other, but they were not on the best of terms and they kept going back and forth through diss songs. Now I bring this up because in early 2016, Meek Mill did in fact make an EP that consisted of many diss songs towards Drake. He will end up including Future in one of those songs known as Slippin'. This song had dropped on Meat Mill's channel on the 30th of January in 2016. At that time, I would consider Drake and Future on the best of terms. They had dropped their hit collab album with a time to be alive in 2015 on September 20th. So I feel like this could be somewhat of a similar situation. Just because a rapper does a collab project with somebody that is into it with somebody else in the industry does not mean that that person is also against them. Just think about it, based off of these two projects that were put out being both Meat Mill's EP that contained the song Slippin' and a song that Future had put out on his album known as Like That. We have two situations where Future had did work with somebody that is now on the best of terms with Drake. So this is nothing new to the game because Future had already did it eight years back. Following Future being a part of that project back in 2016, we all know that Future and Drake were going to drop many successful projects following that. But yeah, y'all, let's go cap out this story. Let me know what y'all think it's in the comments. What do y'all think about Metro Boomer debunking the rumors and speaking on that fan's comment on the internet? Were you guys surprised to see that Rick Ross is no longer following Drake on Instagram and give y'all thoughts on that? And to cap that off, do y'all think the future and Drake will speak on the rumors that are revolving around their names? Let all that be known in the comments, y'all. That's gonna do it. I'm out. Rage on that beat, going crazy.